Hey guys, Julie here from Julie Erin Designs. In this video, I wanted to share with you this pretty new feature available on Zazzle, which is the custom cover photo. So today I'm gonna to be demonstrating how I've been making my own cover photos for Zazzle using my iPad and the Procreate app. You could also use Photoshop or GIMP or another image editing software. So if you go to one of your product pages, you can click on the more options there on the top right and download the product mockup. So I'm basically just doing that and then sending it into Procreate so that I can edit uh, this mockup. So here I just tried to select the background using the selection tool and it didn't really work for this particular image just because there's so much white in my design and then the background is also white. So if you had a product with a design that was more contrasting against the background then you should be able to do it this way just by using the selection tool. Um, so instead I'm just going to manually erase the background and uh, it's gonna take me a couple of minutes here, so I'm just gonna fast forward through this and you can follow along. So now I have my product mock-up here with a transparent background. I just made my background layer red so I could see it really easily. And I've actually taken photos of um, some textures like this faux brick wallpaper that I had and just some marble. And I basically just took photos of textures that I thought would look good as background and then imported them into Procreate and cropped them and just played with it until I liked how it looked. So I'm just copying and pasting this background into this mock-up and just creating uh, a little bit of a shadow by duplicating the layer and then turning on alpha lock and filling it with black and then turn off the alpha lock and go into the Gaussian blur and just blur it out so that it creates this sort of 3d effect So now I'm just exporting as a JPEG. And now I'm gonna go ahead and upload to Zazzle. So see I just clicked on upload cover photo and I'm just uploading my image here into my gallery. So selecting the image that I just created. And now I have my custom cover photo. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And just a note that it does take a little bit of time for the mock-up to appear in um, your store and on the Zazzle Marketplace. So, you know, just give it a day or two and then it should be there. So I just wanted to also share with you another option if you're looking for some really nice product mock-ups that you could use for the Zazzle custom cover images. There's other websites like Creative Fabrica. Um, I particularly like Place It. They have some really, really nice mock mockups that you can download and use for your Zazzle listings. They have tons of really great mockups that would definitely make your listing stand out. So I will leave a link to that below if you are interested. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers.